A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 5, verses 1 to 16. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Soon, another feast came around and Jesus was back in Jerusalem. Near the Sheep Gate in Jerusalem there was a pool, in Hebrew called Bethesda, with five alcoves. Hundreds of sick people, blind, crippled, paralyzed, were in these alcoves. One man had been an invalid there for 38 years. When Jesus saw him stretched out by the pool and knew how long he had been there, he said, Do you want to get well? The sick man said, Sir, when the water is stirred, I don't have anybody to put me in the pool. By the time I get there, somebody else is already in. Jesus said, Get up, take your bedroll, start walking. The man was healed on the spot. He picked up his bedroll and walked off. That day happened to be the Sabbath. The Jews stopped the healed man and said, It's the Sabbath. You can't carry your bedroll around. It's against the rules. But he told them, The man who made me well told me to. He said, Take your bedroll and start walking. They asked, Who gave you the order to take it up and start walking? But the healed man didn't know, for Jesus had slipped away into the crowd. A little later, Jesus found him in the temple and said, You look wonderful. You're well. Don't return to a sinning life or something worse might happen. The man went back and told the Jews that it was Jesus who made him well. That is why the Jews were out to get Jesus, because he did this kind of thing on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 5, verses 1 to 16. Get up and walk. Is there anything that is preventing us from experiencing the healing power and transforming grace of the Lord? The prophet Ezekiel was given a vision of the rivers of the living water flowing from God's heavenly throne. This living water that flows from the temple and envelops people is meant to bring healing and restoration to his people and help them live a life of joy and peace with God. Centuries later, it is through Jesus, God continues his work of healing and restoration to his people. John presents in his gospel account the miraculous healing of a man crippled for 38 years on a Sabbath at the pool of Bethsaida. Do you really want to be healed? The crippled man did not ask for healing. Perhaps he did not even know who Jesus was. It was purely an initiative of Jesus to approach him and offer him help. His complaint was that he had no one to help him. But the Lord helped him from his miseries. Jesus approaches each one of us with the same probing question. Do you really want to be healed, to be forgiven? set free from guilt and sin, from uncontrollable anger and other disordered passions and from hurtful desires and addictions? The first essential step towards freedom and healing is the desire for change. If we are content to stay as we are, then no amount of coaxing will change us. The Lord will not refuse anyone who sincerely asks for his pardon, mercy and healing. Listen to his voice prompting us to action. Get up and walk.